So, okay, uh, y'all know that little Alex plush she unboxed, like, the other day? That's, like, an early September unboxing. So, it's, uh, this Matt Riddle here that y'all are seeing me doing a review on right now. Um, yep, yeah, pretty I'm excited to got this. I have been looking forward for a Matt Riddle action figure. So, this is, uh, Top Picks 2023 Rave 4. Uh, these are a pre-order right now on, um, Ringside Collectibles. Uh, I got this one from Amazon yesterday morning that I bought with the Roman Reigns. And, uh, here he is. Matt Riddle, the, his moves, like the Bro Durek and Bro Mission. He's a grappler. In this series, you can get Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns, which we will look at Roman Reigns really, really soon. So, let's go ahead and get this out of the box, shall we? And review it. Okay, guys, so here he is out of the box. For some weird reason, like, his hips won't rotate at all. I mean, I don't want to, like, break it because I just bought this yesterday morning. So, if I can try and, like, do something... Or maybe it's just stuck. I don't know. But anyway, again, here he is out of the bat box. Uh, got the little old trunks he doesn't wear no more. He got the little mushroom tattoo there. Is that actually it looks like an explosion or something? Trying, hold on, let me see. Okay, so, number one thing, I cannot remove him at the waist, because for some weird reason, it looks like he is stuck, and I'm not going to risk that, because I just bought this, like I said, yesterday morning. But, um, yeah, guys, uh... It's a pretty cool figure. I'm going to give this a review 100 out of 100. But anyway, guys, because like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so we're doing the same series. And this time it's going to be Roman, Re Roman Reigns. The last one who we just unboxed and reviewed was Matt Riddle. But sadly, he couldn't rotate at the waist. Because I didn't want to break the figure. So, anyway, um... Uh, Roman Reigns' signature move is Spear and Gulun Gluttony, Gluntine. In the other series, you can get Matt Riddle, like I said, who we just looked at from the last video, and the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Well, she should have won the title at WrestleMania, but you never did. So, um, here he is in the Roman Reigns in the package. I only got this because I needed another Roman Reigns. I didn't want to get the one that had the yellow glove on. Because I really wanted the one with the red. But good thing they had it in stock on Amazon. Because I didn't want to do a pre-order pre-order on it on Ringside Collectibles. So anyway. And by the way, this is my fourth Roman Reigns action figure. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box. Shall we? Here we go. Okay, guys, so, I took a picture for the video, for the thumbnail, so, anyway, here he is out of the box, uh, so, yep, he rotates at the waist, finally, just like Matt Riddle, because he couldn't rotate at the waist, again, I didn't want to break that figure, because I was excited to get that Matt Riddle action figure, but, uh, yeah, um, so, he got pretty nice details, but what I really am disappointed about, the other wristband right here, he does not have a logo on here. The other one he does, you can slightly tell, it's like him doing the Superman punch. But, um, anyway guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna give this, uh, figure review unboxing a hundred out of a hundred. But, anyway guys, like, comment, subscribe.
Okay, guys, so another unboxing plus review on the Score Bunny plush. So. Okay, I was. Okay, I thought someone was driving over here, but I forgot no one drived. But, uh, here he is in the bag, and we're gonna get him out of the baggy bag. Okay, guys, so here he is out of the bag. Uh, yep. Uh. He got big ears. And this little thing right here is just a hanger. If you can tell, like, see? But yep, I was originally going to re. Originally going to re. I was originally going to review this back in 2021. But never got around to it. But let's go ahead and take the tags off. And see what he looks like with the tags off. Also, by the record, guys, I am filming uh, September, some of September's unboxings early, so y'all can see them by like next month, you know. So here he is. So here is Score Bunny without the tags on. But anyway, guys, because like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys. So, I want to say about, like, three, Monday or three weeks ago, I did a unboxing on the number 1232 Peacemaker with his eagle. I'm not going to say the eagle's name because I have a hard time saying it. Um, which, this one is number 1233. And this is Pop Television, DC Comics, Peacemaker, the series, Pop Vinyl, um, I bought this, like, two mornings, about, like, two days ago, at, like, one in the morning, mostly, like, one or two in the morning, and this is my second Peacemaker Pop Vinyl, slash, third John Cena Pop Vinyl, uh, let's go ahead, and go ahead and get it out of the box, review it, and give a score on this pop final. So, in three, two, one. I messed up. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm not going to do the Thanos snap. Alright, guys, so here he is. Um... We're going to rotate the camera a little bit. So he has one point of articulation. That's in the head. Um, yeah. Basically, uh, it, you can tell it's the same. This one's a different helmet. Because this one shoots lasers, I think. I think that when he wore the tidy whities which, yes, these are in his tidy whities Uh, these are... This is actually for the first or second, third episode of the show. <sighs> so, yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you can tell he has a little hair sculpt in. Pretty well detailed, did. But I really wish they shouldn't do the little paint... Misplaced the paint a little bit. So, yeah, um, and also, he, he got pretty, pretty cool details. The helmet, the little Superman inspired logo, because it looks like Superman's logo, but only with the, um, whew, I'm sorry, with the little bird on it. So, let's go ahead and get this, uh, review. Like a score review, shall we? Alright guys, so I am back with another unboxing plus review video. So, um, yes, um, by the way, I am recording this video, uh, at almost like 3.30 in the morning, so... Gotta make this quick, and just letting you guys know, yes, we got the Mattel Basic 
Star Wars, Grogu, Grogu, Baby Yoda plush, which, as some of y'all didn't know, this is actually Baby Yoda, because I never watched Mandalorian at all, I mean, I know, oh, who Yoda is, because, uh, I used to collect the Star Wars Happy Meal toys when I was younger, but anyway, let's go ahead and get this one opened up, shall we? Alright guys, so, here is Baby Yoda, or Grogu, because mostly people call him Grogu, but the first time I saw him, I just call him Baby Yoda. Okay, so, let's go ahead and read. And then check out the details. So, the eyes here are made out of plastic. Like, hard plastic. Like, action figure plastic. And he got the little, um, fluff on the clothing. And that is it. And let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what the tag looks like. Alright guys, so here's the tag, Star Wars The Mandalorian, Grogu, and check out the back, it's pretty cool, and the little, and the little bar, scanning bar right here, but uh, I don't know why they put it on inside of the tag, because uh, they mostly put it on the back of the tag, but I don't think that's not the case at all this time, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and finish up with this video and the review. So, let's go. Alright guys, so, um, forgot to tell you guys, the nails are painted on. And what will the review be of this plush, this plushie? A hundred out of a hundred. But, yes guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay guys, so... I am back with another video unboxing, and this will be my other early September unboxing. So, um, I think it's the Mickey Mouse plushie I was telling you guys about. I bought with Amazon credit that was like three dollars and ninety nine cents. But I'm gonna see if it is. So here we go. So this is the plushie I was telling you guys about. The Rainbow Dash one. Uh, it's pretty cool. I had it on my save for later. Uh, I think this was celebrating for Pride a few months back. And this was, wow, it's just a year old. Huh. And yes, it's made by Just Play. So let's go ahead and get it out of the bag, shall we? Alright, guys. So here's here he is out of the bag. And quick review. This is going to be 100 out of 100. And, yep, uh, it says on the bag, it says Pride Small Plush Mickey Mouse by Just Play. But, uh, anyway, guys, you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, this is going to be a new series, I mean, a uh, new figure unboxing called the Epic Hero Series. It's kind of like the Titan Hero Series, but uh, we got the Marvel Studios X-Men 97... Marvel's Rogue. And on the box you see Storm, Cyclops, Rogue, Wolverine, and Gambit. My favorite Marvel character. Here's the side. Uh, you get to see Beast. The girl with the pink glasses. I cannot remember her name. Nor the one that looks invisible. I think he appeared in the Logan movie. Here's the back. Here's another picture of Rogue. Uh, some people said this is actually going to be like a revival of the original X-Men series from the 90s. Because you can tell Rogue's jacket was brown, but now it's green. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this girl. I mean, her out of the package, shall we? And three, two, one. 
All right, guys. So here she is out of the package. Um, we're going to take a look at the figure last because she comes with this weird, like, fist that kind of looks like the Doom fist that um Garrus. That looks like uh Garrus's um. Ugh. Every single time I look at this, it reminds me of, uh, the Doom Fist that, um, Gears created from Mortal Kombat 11. So, it's not rubbery, it's like, hard plastic, like, you can feel the rubber in it, but that is just in my opinion. And let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. All right, guys. So here she is out of the box. Um, I still don't get why they make her jacket green. Cause in the original show it was brown, but they just made it green. Um, some of y'all are probably wondering where do I pick this up? I picked it up from Walmart cause uh they just got these in like three. Actually, no way, like. Yeah, about three weeks ago. There's the back. The she has like a lot of articulation, like see, like she kind of like that weird, that weird um WWE action figure articulation, and that's what it kind of reminds me of a little bit. So let's go ahead and put this little. Thing on her. Alright, guys. So, here she is with the little... Uh... Thing on her. Pretty well detailed. And they actually gave her the little, little, um, cool... If my camera will focus. Come on. Come on, camera. Come on, come on, camera! Don't do this. They kind of like gave her like the little um Mattel look, like what they do with the wrestling figures. If you cannot tell, I know my camera's being blurry right now. There we go. Yeah, they kind of gave her like that um the Mattel. Look like they do with the wrestling figures for Mattel. But, um, yeah, guys. Uh, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys. I am back with another review video. And, happy Friday. So, yeah, um... I am going to do an unboxing later on today. So, I just want to show you guys this pretty cool plushie I got. Which is a... WWE official licensed product Undertaker plush. Um, uh, some of y'all really want to know how I got the Undertaker in a plush form. I picked him up from Walmart two days ago. So yep, uh, what's really cool about this plushie? He's so soft. I mean, well, like every other plushie. So let's go ahead and rotate him. And what's really cool about this one, he has, like, the logo on his belly. But I don't know why they make the pants gray. And what's really cool about this plushie, so you know this little thing that's for the tr this coat here? Check this out. It's actually a cape. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take all the tags and see what it looks like without the tags on, shall we? Okay, guys, so here he is without the tags on. And I'm going to give you this plush video, I mean, this plush review, a 100 out of a 100. And yes, I got another one, and it's actually Ultimate Warrior. So stay tuned for that, and I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. All right, guys, so back with another video. And the last video, I did a review on The Undertaker. And this one, I am reviewing The Ultimate Warrior. So yeah, uh, what's really cool about this, you guys, because I told you guys this is actually from 
Walmart. And I don't know if these are Walmart exclusives or not, because um, some of these plushies were found in some Walmarts. I found the Ultimate War Warrior where I was at, at my local Walmart, like, three weeks ago. But they didn't have it, like, three weeks later now, which is today. Well, mostly, like, a couple days, days ago. But I went to a different Walmart to get this one at a different Walmart. And it was not that easy. Well, it was easy. He was easy to find. But, yep, let's go ahead and take the tags off and see what he looks like without the tags on. So, in three, two, one. Okay, guys, so here is the Ultimate Warrior without the tags on. And I know he... Kind of stands weird, and let me just remove that little trash there. But um, anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. All right, guys. So I am back with another unboxing video. So we are unboxing Handmade by Robots collectible final figure. This series number forty-seven, Wonder Woman. Uh, here she is. Out where. In the window or box, where you call it. Here's an actual picture of Wonder Woman. Um, not too crazy about the blue in her hair. Because when I was just little, she always had black hair. But I guess that's like the little shading part for the, the hair, I think. I don't know. But let's go ahead and get this unboxed, shall we? Alright, guys. So here she is. Um... She feels like a dog toy. I think it's pretty cute. And look at this. It has like a little thing called Handmade for Robots. Scan code. Well, not like a scan code. Like, you know, like one of those barcodes that you scan the item with at Walmart. I wasn't originally going to unbox it in the car. But I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to unbox it right now. Then unbox the other thing in the car later on. Or probably tonight. But anyway, guys. Uh, this I'm boxing, well, mostly review, it's going to be 100 out of 100. But anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe, have a safe weekend. Alright, guys, so, the moment y'all been waiting for the YouTube's collectibles. Number zero. My mom told me not to open this. I was like, Mom, come on. It's... Literally mine. I mean, I have been game. I have my eye on it for a while now. Uh, the reason why I only got this because it was thirty five dollars. Well, actually, well, okay, yeah, it was thirty five dollars on Amazon, and I thought it wouldn't be here today till I just found out that it was in my mailbox. And this what really irritates me. Like, look at this. See, they literally damn. Like, literally, like, the mailman literally damaged the box. Here he is. Uh, nice picture shot of a uh, Homelander here. Background here. And the window here and here. And let's go ahead and take them out of the box. Shall we? In three, two, one. All right, guys. So here he is out of the box. Um, he doesn't have any articulation, and he is pretty big. Well, not like big because his head is big. And what's really weird about these figurines? They don't have the nose at all. Here's this American flag. Mm. Like this Captain America look on him, but there's Aria Captain America parody in the boys, if y'all remember from season three. Um Dean from Supernatural was on the show. But um anyway guys, uh I'm sorry if I am unboxing this at nighttime. I just wanna give this U2's uh collectibles uh Homelander final figure from the boys collection. The number zero figurine. 
out here at night because um I had to unbox this like really really late. So I'm sorry for that. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and um stay tuned for the next bleacher creature unboxing and Mortal Kombat One unboxing in two weeks. So yeah, uh have a safe weekend. Like, comment, subscribe. Alright guys, so before I had to film this video, well the last one video that y'all were supposed to watch, uh card drive pass, cause uh they weren't like not playing music or anything, cause uh the driving pass is kinda distracting. But yes, um here's our new John Cena Bleacher creature. Uh this just got in stock just last week from Bleacher Creatures. Uh, this is actually my third John Cena Bleacher Creature. And what I don't like about this one, guys, because, um, you guys can see this little part right here. This little tag right here. I'm going to probably have to cut that off after the video so I can make him, like, not have that hard time with the little thing, you know? And he's Kind of like a bulky bleacher creature figurine or plushy. So let's go ahead and take the tags off and see what he looks like without the tags on. Alright, guys, so here's the tag. Uh here's the concept art, and here's the actual thing itself. So yep, uh in this plush review or bleacher creature review, it's gonna be a hundred out of a hundred. And yes, I did took it out of the bag on that other video that I deleted because the car, uh, my neighbor's car was driving past. But still, this plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. All right, guys. So I am back with another unboxing video, and stay tuned for the unboxing of um, the Mortal Kombat one. Uh, Premium edition on Nintendo Switch tomorrow evening, so can't wait for that. Um, got this two days ago online, and I didn't know it was getting delivered today, which I thought it was being delivered yesterday. So, um, yes, uh, I didn't actually know, like I said, like it was in another city that I bought it from, but uh. Yep, I can't wait to show you guys what it is. It is a Demon Slayer Plus related. So, here we go. Alright, guys. So, here she is. It is Mi Siri. Pretty cute. Uh, for some weird reason, when I look on the tag, it says it was $9.48. But, yep. Uh, it's made by... Bandai, the people that does the video game, it's a video game company, but yep, um, like the hair, um, not too crazy about the paint, but the Great Easter one, I don't think it has paint on it, but, um, let's go ahead and take the tag off and see, and see what she looks like without the tag on. So this is what the plus she's called. It's called Ben Presto, like the company that does these, like, little... Plushies right here. That's what the company is called. And this plush review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But anyway, guys, because like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys. So I am back with another, another unboxing video. So y'all didn't see that one video I told you guys. It was been an expected journey. I didn't know it was going to be on. But we got it. Got it for Nintendo Switch. Um... Yep, here's the front cover, the side, which, um, just read, which nobody really cared or for the side anyway, to be honest, and the back, it's in our blood, and yes, a celebrity is in this game, well, so is Megan Fox, because, you know, she's the vampire chick, so yep, you can play 15 story modes, like 15 chapters, I think, and patience, Cameo fires. Now, I know y'all are going to say, what are Impatience? It's kind of like a Mario Party 
RPG thing. I'm not for sure. But, um, I'll be right back. Alright, guys. So, here's the game. Took the code, the digital codes out of the case. So, I don't, like, get it, like, you know, show you guys. But, anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so this is going to be my final September unboxing till October gets here, which I am getting a package by Wednesday, which that will be an early October unboxing for you guys. So, bought this just last a week, bought this just last week. I'm excited to show you guys what it is. It's actually one of those Funko Pop My Hero plushies I was telling you guys about. But we will see who it is. Um, in three, two, one. Okay, guys. So here it is. Araka. Uh, this one I was telling you guys about a couple weeks ago. That I was originally supposed to unbox two weeks ago, but never got a chance to do it, so, but I bought this just last week, and let's go ahead and take the tag off, and see, and see, what, she, and see what she looks like without the tag on, in three, two, one, all right, guys, here she is without the tag on, and this plush re review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred, but anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe.